Hi, Scott, and uh, happy Father's Day. Thanks for participating in the Bradbury Golf Academy. It's really fun having you and John in for a couple days. And uh, uh, let's, uh, let's start off by just kind of taking a look at uh, our setup. We worked on uh, um, just neutralizing your grip just slightly where you felt like your left hand is more down in the fingers, and that, that certainly helped you. Um, and we worked on feeling like we could uh, wrist cock going away and so that we could get that club off to a little better start. And, uh, and we also worked a lot on body pivot. So um, the only thing I would recommend is trying to feel like you can keep your feet a little bit more on the ground. You like to lift that left heel a lot in the air. Um, a little bit is fine, but uh, that's getting up there quite a bit. It just makes the timing of it more challenging. But I like the way you've made a good turn right there. And uh, your left arm is working right across your chest in a good spot. Uh, you do a nice job of planting the left heel down and delivering the handle first, which is bringing a good angle of approach down and into the shot. You've got a, a nice shallow angle approach and um, a pretty good strike on the golf ball. When we go off is when you tend to stop your body pivot at this point, and then your hands and arms just swing too much inside out. And... Um, you, you tend to hit a big push shot as a result of that, a shot that just goes to the right and stays to the right. So um, I had you do uh, a number of different drills. Uh, this was one that certainly is going to help you a lot, um, and it was very f focused to you as a player. I just put your, your hand on your chest and had you uh, swing the club back with your right hand only and feeling like you would hinge it up, get it over your shoulder, and now just turn your chest through the shot and lead the way for your arm swing. And you'll notice that um, the club is in a, um, a better path. It's staying more in front of you right here. It doesn't swing to the outside as much. It came right down the line and then it's working back around yourself a little bit. And you can even do a better job of it working a little bit more over here, flatter towards your um, left hip, feel like you're going a little bit more low and around instead of out and up as much as you are right now. But all in all, this is getting better. Turn that chest through, let your arms follow, and, uh, and certainly when you do that, you hit really, really nice shots. Uh, here it is from the front on view. You see how nicely you, you make a good pivot going back. Um, here's the plant of the heel and then the turn of the chest. So we could get a little bit more aggressive with the rotation going through the shot and that will make room for your arms to be able to swing a little bit more around yourself, making that circle motion. So uh, I'd, I'd keep it that tidy. Um, maybe another drill that I would recommend uh, is this body pivot drill. Uh, I gave this one to John as well, so there's a good rotation. With the ball between your knees, a little beach ball would help you out a lot, so you'd stay nice and tidy with your lower body, and then deliver the plant to the left heel, and then unwind your torso through the shot into your good balance finish so you continue to unwind through. I think that would be a really, really good drill for you to kind of help you uh, feel those sensations. So until next time, happy golfing.